Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Beta. Working on the sci-fi park. Uh, make sure you guys are dropping a like if you're enjoying and want to see more in the future. Today we're finally doing something that I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about. And we're adding the first coaster to the sci-fi park. Uh, finally getting around to it. And I think it comes out pretty cool. Uh, first thing we're doing over here is adding another ship. Since I decided that we did need some more ships in this area. I'm probably going to add some more flying around through in the air. Uh, didn't get around to doing those in this episode, but maybe in the future. It's one of the like finishing touch-up things we can do. Uh, for this ship, I wanted to add another shop over here. wasn't sure what to do, because I didn't know if I wanted an actual shop. But I thought we'd take one of the new ones, the Just a Memento. And so it's like a souvenir gift shop. I figured we'd uh, toss one over here. Make it look all nice. It kept closing every time I was adjusting it because I was trying to see how far back that metal piece was, but I was kind of silly. I guess I could have paused the game. Uh, just again, playing around the ship pieces, trying to find something that looks cool. Not really doing anything in particular. Put a little gun on top because we got to we gotta protect those souvenirs, man. Those are worth a lot. In the future, that's what uh, currency is. It's like snow globes and little flags and things like that. That's, <laughs> everybody knows that. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about now. Just trying to cover it up a little bit, give it some uh, nice little blending pieces there so it doesn't just look like a big blue square just stuck in the middle of a ship. We also have a new song, uh, so some people were getting sick of the Planet Coaster theme song, so I went and bought a song. Yes, no longer using just royalty free music, I went and bought the song rights to this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I was just trying to find something that would like fit the theme a little bit more, and just something a little, uh, that had a little beat to it, you know. So I gotta get into the rhythm when I'm recording these voiceovers. Don't want to just sit here and drone on and on and on. Gotta have a rhythm in how we talk. Trying to pick the coaster for this one was tough. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. We ended up going with this guy. It's uh, I don't remember the name. It's really far away. I was just trying to find something that looked like sleek and futuristic and cool. So this is the one we ended up going with. Um, this one's not capable of inversion, so that was a little disappointing. But I wanted this to be more of like a large sweeping roller coaster rather than just a crazy hectic one because um, I really wanted to have it go through the ring and the the looper right there the repair ring so we do do that we do do and the theme of this ride someone actually came up with a good one in the comments so I decided to go with that they said I should make like a robot factory since we do have the little animatronic robots I thought that was a really cool idea so that's what I went with this one so the coaster kind of takes place in a robot factory, or at least starts in a robot factory. And I know I want to do something cool in the past, kind of take inspiration from, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, Space Mountain in Disneyland, where the, the paths kind of go over the coaster bay and everything. Uh, I've seen that quite a few times in different coasters, probably not just Space Mountain, but definitely took some inspiration from that. I thought it was pretty cool, so we're going to do that here. It was a little tricky lining the paths up and everything, but we got to figure it out. I got to keep remembering to put it on a grid. It, and then they use the square edges. It's a lot easier to do that. Um, I initially forgot it, but then we end up doing it again later in the video. And then uh, if, if it works out, I'll go back and uh, change the non-square path. See right now how it's kind of the round edges? There is a toggle way if you select the grid that you can make it uh, square. And it, it, it kind of fits with this theme a little bit better. Mm, had some people yelling at me in the comments about it. I was like, hey, the square path for every day, every day. I was like, okay, well, don't yell at me, man. I'm very sensitive these days. No, not really. I don't know. As sensitive as people are. Here I was trying to figure out, wait, what am I going to do with this path here? <laughs> How am I going to line this up? I was like, okay, we'll do this instead. We'll have the cues kind of match each other and go across. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying how the, the paths keep trying to touch each other. So you kind of, you got to keep them separated until the end because they keep trying to connect with each other and see, oh my God, look at this. I kept trying to raise it off the ground and it kept snapping over to the other path. It was a little bit annoying, but we got it worked out. In the end. There you go. And then just finally got the path there. There we go. So that's going to be the cue. That's how people are going to get in and around. Kind of a nice looping way. I think it's pretty cool looking. I like it. Relatively symmetrical. It's a little annoying that the thinnest regular path is still wider than like this cue. Though I don't think I was using the widest cue. No, I think I was, I was using 3 meters instead of 4. So that might have been the issue. Oh well. Uh, so for the actual design factory, I wanted to go with a very sleek, modern design, kind of like the rest of this role-playing colors. These roof metal roof pieces, they're so cool, I wish we could change the color of them. It, they've been in the game since Alpha 1, and they've always been blue, and you can't change the color of them. It drives me crazy, I don't know why, like they're such a cool, metallic-looking roof texture, but they're always this blue color. I just want to change them into something else. That's so much to ask for. They're so nice looking. Come on, Frontier. I'm begging you. 
Uh, that's, uh, that's my next wish. Maybe it'll be in full release. It probably won't. It seems like a very random thing that would be in full release, but whatever. Added some decorations and panels and stuff all through there. Decided to remove those kind of glass things there. Again, we don't have any real glass in the game. That's a little frustrating. I kind of wish we did, but oh well. We'll get over it. Maybe I won't. I'll just cry myself to sleep. But there's no glass in playing a coaster, man. I don't want to live. No, that's being overly dramatic. Okay, go to start working on the coaster soon. Just kind of doing a nice little wrapping around the coaster bay with these cool kind of, I don't know, metal pieces. Don't exactly know what they are. And once again, I love these lamps. These, uh, they're not even lamps. They don't even cast off that much light. They're just cool looking. I think they're very science looking, so we'll just stick them in here. Let's stick some vents up on the wall. Let's see. And at some point, I do end up putting a, uh, just like a, the radiation goo somewhere. Initially tried the coaster, uh, just going straight out through here. Uh, really couldn't line it up very well. We didn't plan the building super well. Because I wanted to kind of keep it on the grid, and it, it wasn't having it. So I decided, okay, we're just going to go immediately to the left, I think. Yeah, so no, you're still doing it wrong, C-Top. Come on, no. Okay, stop it. Stop it. C-Top, I swear to God. No, well, you're not going to do it straight. If you do that, it's going to dig into the ground too much. It's not going to look good. Come on. And, oh no, oh God, C-Top, what have you done, you... Freaking idiot. Okay. There you go, buddy. Good job. Okay. I'm proud of you. Past C top. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now we got to figure it out. For some reason, on this coaster, whenever it goes on the lift, this lift hill, it kind of pauses. <laughs> I was testing to make sure I could put buildings in between the ring, but it pauses on the lift hill. See that when we test the coaster later. It's a little bit odd, but whatever. I like the, uh, my, one of my favorite parts about the perpetual daytime is now that I'm in the time lapse editing and building stuff, the park is still functioning so you can see all the stuff happen in the background. Oh, <laughs> almost crushed a bunch of people with the coaster there. That would have been bad. We do end up hitting them a little bit later. We kind of crushed a few people. Oh, there we go. Oh god, that's such an awesome touch. I completely forgot about that until I accidentally did it in the beta review video. Oh god, that was amazing. Oh yeah, trying here again to have it go through the ring once again but decided to have it just uh extend over here put a little bunny hill so it'll go up and then down and then all around oh there they go <laughs> uh it's so entertaining trying to find a good way to turn it back around here i definitely wanted it to soar over the entrance area and so we're just gonna kind of have it go over here this coaster is a little slow i mean it's not slow uh it's just not super fast that's okay not every coaster has to be a wild thrill ride this is more just like a Real deep turns. Oh, there we go. We hit some people. <laughs> it's okay. They get up again. But yeah, I know a lot of people don't like when I do coasters that don't have like five inversions and super high speeds. This one is more, I don't know. It feels like it matches the song, right? Just listen to the song. Yeah. It's more like a big, big experience, big journey, scientific endeavor, things like that. Kind of like a robot factory. I don't know. Again, I, I'm bad at explaining my thoughts and feelings about things I I just try and build things based off of like certain moods and I'm not a writer so I have trouble stating what those moods are <laughs> you know I'm not super eloquent but whatever uh, it, it comes out good it's kind of a big sprawling coaster we end up changing the back part a little bit I ended up removing that and make it a little bit more simple but there we go nice little bunny hill scoop around there we oh yeah, that uh, helix is a little tough. I always have trouble having them enter the helixes. I always, I feel like I need to change the the angle of the roll right before the entrance of the helix. I think that'll definitely help in whatever angle you, t you happen to be coming from. Do them some smoothing along there. Added the brakes right down there. Trying to bank this a little bit more. I do agree that my coasters in the past, I have not been banking it enough, so. Um, definitely agree with people that have told me that. And this coaster's not super long. Uh, it's a relatively short one. I, I, I need to start making longer ones. People always say, hey, your coasters are super short. I'm like, well, I tend to build in relatively cramped areas. I mean, it's not a super short coaster. I mean, this is sped up five, 500%. So imagine this 500% slower, and, and there you go. That's the coaster run. <laughs> There's the robot factory. Doesn't quite look like a robot factory yet, but we will get around to it. I'm just uh, testing the second coaster going there, the second coaster cart. Looking good, looking good. Trying to change some of the speed on the blocking station there, just because I don't want the coaster to actually slow down there. 
Uh, later, I think I did off camera, I, I lowered one of the heights of the other hills just because it was going up too high and I think it was killing a lot of the speed. Uh, so we removed that, you'll see it later. There will be a final walkthrough of the park in real time uh, at the end of this video as well as a first person ride of the coaster. So uh, don't start commenting now, let's ride the coaster, dear ba dear ba dear. I don't even know how you type, dear ba dear ba dear. But see, look, the coaster stopped. That's weird. It takes a little pause there. Maybe there's an option for that. I did not actually check that. I do apologize. But there might be an option for that. I'm not sure. Oh, this part took forever. Ugh. I don't know why it took forever. I just kept making dumb mistakes realizing. Oh, wait. It's on the wrong plane. There we go. Okay, let's go back and move this one. Okay, I gotta do it piece by piece. There you go. Copy those. Nope. Fix them. Fix them. There you go. Copy them over. Flip them over there. And Bob's your uncle, realizing these are at the wrong height, going, God damn it, gotta change it. Good enough. There you go. Alright, so they're, they're technically a different wall piece, but oh well. We'll get over it. There we go, putting the animatronic robots in. Good old robots. Robot house. Yes. Nah, obscure Futurama references. Uh, putting the little robot arms next to them, because it's like they were building them. People had good ideas to put like the sparks and stuff inside of the robots, so that's what we're doing here. Trying to make them look like they're a little bit malfunctioning. And then I also use the uh, laser hit uh, effects to also give them a little bit more oomph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that thing definitely makes them pop a little bit more. It's cool. So the coaster just starts going off right through there. Whee! Just want to see how that looks real quick. It looks so happy. And then over here, I wanted like a big assembly line of more robots. And have a whole bunch of animatronics. Decided to go with yellow because it's kind of like a factory color, right? With the yellow warnings like do not go here blah 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 that's how to wrap put in a whole bunch of robots there so they're kind of imagine them going along like a conveyor belt or something and then i'm going to kind of make like an, an exit for them what really makes sense because it'll just randomly end oh i did mean to put some of those spinning gears in this factory and i think i completely forgot i wasn't sure if they'd fit the theme since those are kind of more of a rustic look but if i can get them to look good we'll definitely uh, add them sorry i had to take a sip of water <laughs> I always do mistakes. I record these Planet Coaster voiceovers in the morning, and my throat's always tired in the morning. Like, my voice uh, works much better if I wait later in the day, but uh, I, spent the I spent the previous day building this, and so I'm rec recording this uh, voiceover on the day it's actually going up. So today is Thursday, the 10th. Yay! Oh, and somebody did win the copy, because I was giving away a copy of Planet Coaster. Uh, their name was... Uh, Iron Fire, something like that? Let me double check. Uh, da, 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 I tweeted it out. Uh, da, da, lead to Fire, that was his name. Okay, I did email him. Uh, if he doesn't respond in 24 hours, I'm gonna give it to someone else. <laughs> I told him to respond to me, so I know he got it, but hopefully he got it. There you go. Yeah, that giveaway worked pretty well. We got a couple hundred people enter. Gained like uh, 400 followers on, t uh, 500 followers on Twitter. Like 500 followers on Twitch, which was awesome. Uh, the day of this video, guys, I am gonna actually be streaming Planet Coaster on Twitch this or tonight from 5 uh, to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, uh, go ahead and find the link in the description below, and go ahead and follow me, and make sure you'll be uh, you have email notifications on. You'll be notified when I go live. I'll also put a video up on YouTube to let you guys know. Uh, but it should be a fun time. I uh, haven't streamed Planet Coaster in a long time on Twitch. I actually haven't done it since my old PC, because my old PC could barely handle it. But there you go. Now what are we doing now? Still working on the robot factory? That's right. I remember. Just added some more finishing touches there. Did some set dressing with the barrels and the big pieces. Also, uh, put that cool laser thing over the entrance, or the, the return. I think it's pretty cool. It's like a big laser scanner. The lasers. Oh, I love lasers. Don't you love lasers? I don't know why, but every time I see lasers, I have to speak in my nerd voice. Oh boy, look at all those lasers. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now, because that's driving people crazy. Oh, jeez. Added some more detail on that side. Do, 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 do. Hmm. So I had a lot of good suggestions for the park name and stuff, and also new sections. I did actually forget to mention last time that I am planning on doing a like dystopian future park, or part of the park, definitely inspired by like Fallout, things like that. Mad Max. I just forgot to mention it, and people started suggesting. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because I did mention it in some of my Halloween Park uh, videos that I was going to do the dystopian future part. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a little bit tough to make things look old and dilapidated uh, with the limited pieces we have, but should be good. So there's a good example of the square path. 
The sword one looks a lot better than the Q, so I'm actually going to go back off camera and replace a lot of the Qs with the square Qs. Because they look uh, quite a bit better. Remarkably better. Hmm, yes. Quite, very good. Fixing the paths. There you go. Making it look all nice and pretty. Oh, yeah. And then I decided to go ahead and paint the rest of this. Like, uh, with this rock color. Trying to make it look like this is like a... Like a base on another planet. We're still gonna have the green areas on the inside and stuff. Uh, but everything else on the outside is gonna be all cool. <laughs> this is when, uh, Sarah came into my office and I showed her the inside. So, <laughs> occasionally you'll see me go do things like that. Uh, that's because I wanted to show her. <laughs> but there we go. It looked a little flat, uh, but then I went off camera and I added- Oh wait, no, you can't even see it. So I added, um, these cool craters all around it. And then I also added a- did I add the wall yet? No, I don't think I added the barrier around. So, check out that crater, it actually came out pretty cool. Basically what I did is I raised the ground, and then uh, shrink the side of the brush, and then push it back down to kind of get that crater look. Came out pretty cool looking. Added some of these barriers across there. Looking good, looking good. And I was okay, it needs a little bit more. So here we go. Now we're cooking, so I'm just gonna add that up there. Adds a cool little cave for that too. And then we're gonna roughen it up a bit, and then paint it. But there we go guys, that is the, uh, just kind of the space port, space base, uh, planet base themed area of our science fiction park. Next up, we're either going to work on the, uh, post-apocalyptic sci-fi area or the steampunk area. But I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of the, at the end here. Hope you enjoy, make sure you're slamming down on that like button. If you're enjoying Planet Ghost and want to see more in the future, can't wait to work on the next section with you guys. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the tour. Bye.